Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have the Honey Monster. We have this Mister. here beer from Mister. Bose All Natural Brewing Company in Van Cleek Hill, Ontario, at 10 Terry Fox Drive. This is Koru Belgian Style Pale Ale. I. <laughs> what? It's a Belgian Style Pale Ale. All right. Like a label is cool. 6% alcohol. This is part of the Wild Oat series. It's Wild Oat series number 25. 600 milliliter bottles. Again, bigger than a pint bottle, smaller than a bomber. I'm missing a little bunch from the neck. And so it is. Um, <laughs> local spring water, organic barley, good catch, sir. wheat malt, Get organic out. hops, and brewer's yeast. So everything's organic in here. Ooh. Yay! Ooh, hippies. I always like organic stuff. Come on. Can you tell that they're hippies by the label and the colors? Free range organic Wi Fi? It's not free range coastal water. <laughs> free no. range coastal water? What the fuck does that even mean? Free range organic diesel. This <laughs> guy's following we, we make it for the chickens, and then we make the chickens. <laughs> oh, you, you even drunk the chickens plus they're fucking. So. They use the, uh, well, they can give their spent grain, because they're certified organic, to certified organic pig farmers. Who then can get eaten fatten by up pigs. the certified organic bacon. That's right. And then they make delicious, delicious pigs. Anyway, that looks beautiful. Which then we feed our enemies, too. That's a nice brassy bronze color. Very I opaque. I would go with brassy. No? No, it's, it's, it it's, like a little too, it's a little too yellow. I'd say it's more of like an amber. A little, little, little bit of an amber oh, color. Stephanie. I don't know if I'm saying. More of a but, Stephanie, you, know, you think? We can, we can, we can agree Stephanie. to disagree on that. I don't agree to that. <laughs> a, little, a little bit of head. <laughs> Looks nice. It's, it's um, almost yeah. no carbonation in there. There's a little bit. I thought bit. it would There's be darker, of... honestly. I actually thought it would be darker, but... More of a Monique. Yeah, it's more of a Monique, or a <laughs> Champagne, if you will. <laughs> Not as blonde as candy, but... <laughs> Not as dark as champagne. I don't even know what I'd say that smells like. Um... <laughs> <laughs> it smells like fucking bubbles. Ah! He can tell you definitely. <laughs> mm, there's definitely a yeasty smell in there. Mm. Get some direct contact with the bubbles. Mm. Yeah, it, ha it has. That's a, that's it has a Belgian a little bit yeasty of a smell. Readiness. But uh, other than that, you guys, I've smoked the bottle. You guys can have the bottle now. Smells. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not smelling much. It's actually fairly, um, it doesn't have much of an aroma. Yeah. Uh, good or bad, I'm not sure. It smells strong. Eh? It's got that, um, it's got an interesting bready aftertaste. Um... I'm almost thinking it's like, you know, it sort of tastes like uh, a little bit of a wheat beer for some reason. Well, wheat malt is in it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm getting that wheaty cereal grain flavor up at the forefront. I'm getting a little bit of a malt a malt in there, like a nice sweet malt. Uh, um, then it gets sour and bready at the end. Yeah, it, it, it's a Belgian pale ale, but it mm, tastes like an English it. pale ale to me. Like it has that English bready, just bready mm -hmm. finish to me mm -hmm. and it is very bready very yeasty on the finish it doesn't have any fruit notes like i'd expect of it it doesn't no. have any citrus notes like i'd expect of it as a belgian it's not a bad beer it's just what it claims to be isn't what it's really tasting like you know it's bland that's that's what i'm that's what's really doing it for me it's um it, it's like it's trying to do a lot of different things and doing none of them well and therefore you're getting sort of this mixed sort of bland thing that is then put into a bottle. So it's the kind you lift a beer? It, it's, it's like what you expect, you know, like fat for yogurt to taste like, right? Not quite as good as the original stuff. No matter what they put in there, it's always kind of meh. Um, yeah, so this is kind of meh. It just doesn't really do anything particularly well. Yeah, it's, it's a good beer. It's not a bad beer. It's not like it, you can't drink it. It's No, just, it's not intolerable or anything. The but more you drink it, the more you're getting a little bit of a hop flavor, but I can't differentiate what type of hop it is at all. No, and, and I, w I was expecting more, honestly. I was expecting a lot yeah, more these, from these. These guys do some of the greatest beers I've drank in Ontario, and this, this is kind of lackluster. Again, it's a good yeah. beer. I could drink it. I'll give it a six. 
What's Karoo mean? Karoo. Karoo. I don't know what it is. Karoo. Mm. I don't know. It's, it's a name of the beer. It. It's Karoo. It's probably maybe some Karoo. Native American thing. Sorry, we got the Native American. It's a lot of tent tent. going on. Doesn't do anything particularly well, and it's it's fairly bland. Um, it's organic, so I guess that's something. Um, the label was okay, but overall, like honestly, the brown, white, yellow label basically sums up the blandness of this drink. Um, five, as bland a review as you can get. <laughs> it's it's a five. It's bland, and it doesn't do anything particularly well. It's like um, the Chicago Cubs. It's, uh, yeah, they exist, but they don't do anything particular. Already, guys, a five and a so six. Five. Again, not a not a bad beer. It's not offensive. It's just not. It's lackluster. Yeah. Thank you. It lacks luster. Lacks luster. Lust.